Hey, what's up guys? Alan with Sonic Electronics and this is Q&A. We have a question from BJ from YouTube. He's got a really good question. How do you set your amp gain that is rated at 600 watts RMS to properly match your woofer that is rated at 300 RMS? So the first thing you need to know for anybody that's in car audio or any type of electronics, take some time, read Ohm's Law. You definitely need to know it will help you out with figuring things out and problems that you can have when installing or anything electronic. However, always in all of our other videos, we always state, just go buy a multimeter. This one was from Harbor Freight and it was like $3. So everybody should be able to go out and get a multimeter. We grab this just to show you, you don't have to spend a bunch of money on a multimeter. Of course, you can spend more if you want to, but this simply will work at a few dollars. So we're gonna get started. We basically did some math for you. Now you said you have a 600 watt amplifier and you wanna dial it down to match your woofer that's rated at 300 watts RMS. Of course, we need, to, we need to know a couple different things. We're looking for volts, which is what we're looking for at the end, but we need to know um, our power, which you've told us, which is 300, in our case, 300 watts, but we need to know the resistance, which is ohms in our case for our woofers. So I'd imagine you probably, in your case, either have a two ohm or a four ohm woofer. So we've kind of went ahead and did some math for you, and we're gonna show you how this works. So basically what you're gonna do it's power times resistance. So power, resistance, ohms. So 300 watts times two ohms gives us 600. The square root of 600 gives us our target voltage, which is 24.49. Now we'll show you what that means in a minute. Now if you have a four ohm woofer, we're gonna do the same exact thing. 300 watts times four ohms gives us 1200 and the square root of 1200 gives us a target voltage of 34.64. So, now having said that, this is what we're gonna do. You need a test tone uh, at zero dB, either of uh, 50 hertz or 60 hertz, either one will work just fine. And we're gonna turn the radio up and we are going to measure some AC voltage come out of this amplifier. And we're gonna start with our two ohm uh, equation here, which is a targeted voltage of 24.49 volts. Okay, so we've went ahead and uh, on my USB stick, I have a 50 hertz test tone that I use from DM War Engineering, zero dB. I've turned it up all the way and I've turned it up all the way on this head unit because I know that this head unit from my oscilloscope and my DD1 distortion to detector will go all the way up flat with no distortion. So, now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and set our multimeter to AC voltage. As you can see, ACV, AC voltage. And we're gonna take our two leads and we're gonna probe the output of the amplifier. Take in mind, we always wanna have, when we're doing this, the speaker disconnected. Otherwise, the speaker is gonna be going crazy playing 50 hertz and we don't wanna do that. So, as you can see, we have the gain on the amplifier all the way down and we are already starting on at 15.5, 15.6 volts. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and slowly turn up the gain. And like I said, we wanna to get to about 24. Right there, it's close enough. Be, you know, you can be a little over, you can be a little under, just definitely as it's a target voltage. So we're gonna, we're pretty much at 24. You can see we're hovering between 23.8, 23.9, pretty much there. Now what we're gonna to do to prove the concept is we're gonna hook this up to our amp dyno and we just targeted 300 watts for you. So we're gonna hook this up to our amp dyno and we're gonna see how much power we get at this setting using this method. All right, cool. So I went ahead and hooked up the uh, amplifier to the dyno. We're gonna do a certified dyno run, mono. And obviously our equation was at two ohms. And we need to go to track four on our disc. And we're gonna crank that thing all the way because we know that's undistorted and we're gonna hit start. And here we go. Now, as you can see, using this method, this gets us pretty darn close to exactly where we need to be. We just got 334 watts. Now, of course, um, if we go, if we have the gain slightly higher, slightly lower, that's obviously gonna change. So you can see that this proves the concept that we can use the multimeter by setting the gain that way. And um, just, for, just for the hell of it, I'm gonna go ahead and do the 300 
uh, formula, but at a four ohm load and show you that. All right, there you go. As you can see, now we've done the two tests and we were obviously trying to aim for a ballpark of about 300 watts, which we pretty much did successfully. We got 345. Just in case that didn't convince you, we're gonna do one more for you. So we're gonna aim for 600 watts this time. We know we have about a 2000 watt amplifier here. And I just wanna give you a disclaimer. We are not dynoing and showing you the full potential of this amplifier. We are simply adjusting the gain to achieve the amount of power that we're calculating that we want to power our woofer or our speakers. So we want 600 watts in this case, and we're gonna do that times two for two ohms. So we're gonna do 600 times two equals, and we know that's gonna give us 1200 watts, or 1200, sorry. And now we want to know the square root of that 1200. Okay, perfect. Now we've got our voltage and our target voltage is 34.64. Ironically, as you can see, it's similar here, but we know it happens. So at four ohms, we're aiming for 300 watts. We're still getting 34.64, but guess what? We're gonna, we're actually saying we're gonna run it at two ohms now. And typically in most cases, when you drop your impedance, your amplifier puts out, what? More power. So we wanted 600 watts and it's the same targeted voltage simply because we just dropped the impedance to get double the power. Cool, so we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, 600 watt test. We haven't touched the gain and we were already at 34.64. So that was our targeted voltage. So we haven't changed anything, so we're leaving it the exactly the same. The only thing we're doing now is we're saying, hey, we're running this at two ohms now. So we're gonna select two ohms instead of the last test at four. We're selecting two ohms. And we need to do track four again. We need to turn our radio up and we need to hit start. And here we go. All right guys, so as you can see, there's three examples. It clearly works on our last run. I think we got 593 something watts. Now, of course, um, if you're just simply taking a 600 watt amplifier as the example for the question and you're trying to achieve 300 watts out of it, I think this method is okay. However, if you were trying to get the maximum power out of the amplifier undistorted, then I would suggest a tool such as the SMD DD1 or an oscilloscope because this method does not safely tell us if the amplifier is distorting. So keep that in mind. So when you are purchasing um, equipment or you're stuck with equipment that maybe you have an amplifier that's 2000 watts but you only have a thousand watt woofer a obviously the correct impedance will help the correct ohms will help achieve set power because the amplifier puts out different power output at different ratings for whether it's one ohm two ohm or four ohm etc as we know but let's just say you are stuck with a two ohm woofer and 600 watt amp and it puts out 600 watts at two ohms and you need less power, you definitely can do it. But when buying the equipment for the first time, it's definitely best to match it properly and go with a good brand so you can trust the output of the rated power to be as true as possible. So hopefully this gives you all the information that you need and more. And I know that this answers your question. So I'm Alan with Sonic Electronics, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Keep the questions coming. coming. We love them. We'll see you next time.